Hello everyone, welcome to another Coding Fundamentals in GML tutorial. My name is Sam Spade and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about addressing other instances variables. So as I mentioned probably ad nauseum at this point, code is always running inside an instance. The only instance variables therefore that you can access by default are the instance variables of that instance. But sometimes you're going to need to get and set variables inside of another instance. So how do you do that? Well, there are two primary ways. The first is by using the dot operator, and the second is by using the with statement. Now I have a whole tutorial on the with statement. It might be up at this point, but if not, it will be up soon. So I'm only gonna cover it briefly here. Mostly I'm gonna focus on the dot operator. The dot operator has the following form. Instance ID, or object ID, but we'll talk about why you shouldn't do that in a moment, dot, and this is the dot operator, variable name. So this is an official operator because it will go and get the address of this variable, even though it's not currently in scope. It's basically telling the computer to go over to this instance and get that variable from this instance, rather than trying to get this variable from the instance that it's currently inside of. It allows you to directly reference, change, and set another instance's variable. It only works with instance IDs. And I say only with an asterisk because in actuality, you can use object IDs with it. However, you generally shouldn't. The only exception is if there is only one instance of an object in the room. If there's one instance of an object in the room, for example, it's uh, some type of controller, or maybe you just have one instance and you will only ever have one instance of object player, then you can use the object ID to reference uh, a variable in that instance. But if you have multiple instances and you use an object ID instead of an instance ID, you're basically going to allow the computer or tell the computer to pick one of those instances at random, which is not going to be what you want. So you should only ever use the dot operator with an instance ID or caveat if you have only one instance of an object in the room. The next thing to know about the dot operator is that it will crash your game if an instance doesn't exist. So if you are at all unsure, you should be using instance exists to check before using the dot operator. Otherwise you risk your game crashing. The with statement, on the other hand, is a built-in game maker statement. It takes an instance ID, an object ID, or the keyword all, and a code block. And what it does is it runs that block of code for that instance, if you give it an instance ID, or for all instances of an object, if you give it an object ID, along with all children of that object, or all instances if you give it the keyword all. It will not crash your game if you give it an uh, instance ID or an object ID that doesn't exist. It simply won't do anything. And the other big difference between the with statement and the dot operator is that the with statement is completely switching the scope. With the dot operator, you're telling the computer where to go to get the variable. With the with statement, you're actually sort of moving where the computer is. You're changing where the scope shouldn't say computer, I should say program. You're changing the scope of your program to that other instance. And in addition to allowing you to set, change, et cetera, variables, it allows you to run code inside of that other instance. So this is a lot more powerful than the dot operator, but it's also a little bit longer to write and a little bit slower in code if you're just using it on one instance. All right, let's switch over to Game Maker Studio 2 and see an example. I have a whole tutorial on the with statement. So I'm not gonna do any examples of with in this tutorial. I'm just gonna cover the dot operator. Here we have a simple object. It's create event, just initializes the variable my inst to no one. And then if we push the mouse button mb any, so any mouse button, we're gonna see if uh, there is an instance ID saved in my inst, and if so, we're gonna destroy that instance. And then we are going to create an instance of object white dot, save it to my inst, and then use the dot accessor directly afterwards to choose a different color for that dot. And here we can be pretty sure that this is a safe use of the dot accessor because it just got created. Now, one important note would be that if this instant create failed for some reason, we would actually cause an error and crash our game. And this can actually happen if you specify, for example, the wrong layer. So even here, which is otherwise pretty safe, you might want to include an instance exist check to make sure that your game doesn't have an error. And then we're always going to do an instance exist check because if we don't, we're immediately going to get an error. And as long as this instance exists, we're going to update its X and Y to be the same as the mouse's X and Y. And if we push spacebar, we're going to change the image blend. 
Now object white dot actually has no code at all. So we're doing all of this from inside of another instance. All right, let's run this and see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, there's only one instance in this room. It's an instance of object dot operator. And if we come over here and we click, we have a dot. If we come over here, we'll see that object white dot has no variables that we've created, but it has all the built-in game maker variables. And here we can immediately see the difference between an object ID and an instance ID. The instance ID up here is 100030. The object index is 27. So we're using my inst 100030, which again, you can see refers to object white dot or this instance of object white dot. And we're using that instance ID number inside of object dot operator to update object white dots X and Y position. And if we push spacebar, change its image blend. So we can push spacebar and see that it changes color. And once more, we're doing all of this from inside object dot operator. There is no code inside of object white dot, but the dot operator allows us to access those variables and change them from inside another object. In summary, code runs inside an instance and you can normally only access that instance's variables but the dot operator and the with statement give you the ability to access instance variables and in the case of the with statement even run code inside of another instance. The dot operator is fast and simple, it's easy to type, and because you're directly accessing a variable, it's also fairly fast, but you should only use it with instance IDs and it will crash your game if no instance exists. And once you start using instance checks, it's unlikely to be any faster than a with statement. With statements, on the other hand, take a little bit more work to type out, but they work with object IDs and instance IDs, and they can not only access variables, but they can run code, they won't crash your game, and so on. It might sound like I'm saying you should always use with statements. I'm not. There are definitely times where it is faster and more convenient to use the dot operator, so you want to be familiar with both. I would just keep in mind the pros and cons of each when you're deciding which to use. As always, the links will be below. And I think I've linked to this one before, but I would strongly recommend reading What's the Difference, Objects and Instances on the official Game Maker Community Forum. It's a great way to think about these issues and see some examples of what you should or should not do. Links to the source code will also be below, as well links to the slides themselves. And that's it. Thanks for watching.